This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Biel. Good morning. We're now at Stoltenberg Airport, Bangkok. We uh, checked out from the hotel this morning, picked up what Amber's uh, bag finally, <laughs> and now we are on the way to Chiang Mai. Yes, it's now. Oh, it's red. Oh, we better hurry. We've been slacking at the lounge. Final call. Okay, okay. Well, uh, let's get, get to get away in there. Finally, we have arrived in Chiang Mai. Yes, I was born here, you know. So here we have Amber's dad came here to pick us up. There we have Doramon MG Setless EV. For you guys who don't know, yes, I own this car in Thailand. It has app support also. <laughs> it only comes in one color. And it actually has pretty good space. So you can put a luggage in there. Okay, let me do the loading. Okay, we will head right back to uh, Changdao. I can't wait to see the new house. It's, it's finished already one year ago, but because of COVID, we haven't traveled. We haven't seen it yet. So this is the famous uh, Ko Muang around. There's a well, uh, water around the, the inner city of Chiang Mai. And you see here, I saw on the app that uh, Amri's dad charged the car to 100%. That's 80 kilometers. We're actually about uh, almost 90 kilometers, I think, from here. No, it's just here. Yeah, wait, wait, that's the last You see, he's been driving 90 kilometers. I'm not sure if this consumption is correct, but he needed only 25% to get here. And I know it has around 42 kilowatt hour net capacity so he spent 10 kilowatt hour driving 90 kilometers this consumption is probably correct this car is so efficient in summer over here just you don't need to heat up anything you just need to cool down a little bit and also it's perfect temperature <laughs> well there's no temperature center here but uh, i guess i feel like it's around 20 degrees celsius so um this car has now done 20 I uh, can see it here, 24,000 kilometers. So I need to do a degradation test. It's two years old. Can't wait to find out how much degradation we have. Hopefully we don't have too much degradation. You see, in Thailand, we're still heavily dominated by fossil cars here. EVs are almost non-existent. I think, well, I don't know how many vehicles we have here, but uh, while guess we probably have uh, just a couple of thousand EVs in Thailand. Majority of them are actually MG set as EV because they are quite uh, affordable. But um, so it's it's almost like uh, seeing Norway eight years ago when it comes to EV density. But um, however, the charging network in Thailand has developed greatly for the last one to two years. I haven't been able to show it. So there are many locations with two times 50 kilowatt fast chargers, also a few 120 kilowatt fast chargers. I'll come back to that. Uh, but uh, I have some work to do here. I need to convince Thai people that EVs is the way to go. But Thai people, they know about EVs, many, many people. They also know about Tesla. They, they know about Cybertruck. They <laughs> but it's just that they know about EVs, but they just don't use them or don't buy them. And I also have to convince them that electric scooters or electric motorcycles are also way to go. We now own two of those electric ones, uh, Deco. One, one of them, the first one, is two years old. So I'll also come back to that one. We're going to make some episodes about it. But for now, yeah, this works great, the MG here. It <laughs> almost looks like brand new. It's two years old been taking uh, good care of it I'm going to sell it by Tesla so yeah so also pollution not too bad nowadays because they're not burning shit so not too crazy PM 2.5 levels so I don't know if you noticed but um, pickup truck pickup truck pickup truck over there more pickup trucks. 
see pickup trucks pickup oh okay passenger car more pickups Thailand has so many pickup trucks there you go another pickup truck they use pickup trucks instead of sedan or uh, you see they carry stuff with the pickup trucks I think Thailand might be the one country besides America that has the most pickup trucks <laughs> yeah, they can't wait to get cyber truck over here I don't know if that will even happen, but uh, wow, just the amount of pickup trucks here and big, big cars also. <laughs> We're finally in Changdao, and today we can see Dai Luang, which means that weather should be fairly clear. So you see here, we are we are almost home now. And look at the numbers, 156 go, because uh, uh, we started with, uh, this car started with 100% from here. So we drove round trip, it means that you can drive over 300 kilometers given that the state of charge scale is linear. I don't remember how it was, maybe it wasn't linear, but I measured around 300 kilometer range in Thailand and before. Huh. It's nice. Welcome to Amaris parents' new house in Changdao. Yes, so we have now, uh, uh, this, this used to be, well, it was an old wall. They knocked down the wall, made a new entrance here with the new, we're going to put the motorized uh, gate here. Uh, so we have to, in Thailand, they, they call this soy. Soy means smaller road in here. So there, there's been some kind of, I don't know, blessing of the house here. A, a nice little miniature, huh? I, I think it's cute. But look here, this is awesome. It looks beautiful. It looks so refreshing compared to, well, the old house that was really old. You see, they even made a little, uh, well, I, wasn't, I wouldn't call it garage, but um, uh, carport in, in Thai style with some, some wood and some, oh, what is that? Is that, uh, oh, no, it's just, uh, so we have the MG charging station here. Uh, oh yeah, two, two Deco electric motorcycles. Well, we call it mo mo motorbike uh, scooters. They only have 100, uh, no, no, they only have uh, a 1.2 kilowatt hour battery. And I think it was one kilowatt motor, but it's enough for me and wifey to ride together. And I have measured 50 kilometer range. This one is two years old. That one is around uh, six months old. But this one, which is two years old, they have not done any maintenance on it. Nothing. Just charge it and drive and charge and drive. No oil change, no whatever. Pfft, freaking awesome, man. Okay, anyway, anyway, let's look at that. Look at this, huh? We have a little place here. We can sit outside and chill. Wow, but, but we will do some more stuff here. What's this, garden? Awesome, let's check out the house. Hey, look at it, we have air conditioning unit there. With some, wow, Amherst's parents, they love plants and flowers and nature. Looks tidy. Like, look at the power lines here and everything. What? Is that gonna be a problem uh, in the monsoon? Well, maybe we should consider cutting it so we don't have any trees falling over the power lines. That's Mamre's dad. Uh, Mamre's mom. Mamre's dad is somewhere there. A luggage here. Well, this is living room. We we need to add some furniture here. This is kind of like basic now. We have big ass TV here. I don't remember. It was 65 or 75 inch. I think it was 65 inch. We have bedroom here. This is uh, mine and Amre's bedroom. Air conditioning unit has been mounted. Oh, nice and tall here. This. Okay, bathroom here. See, we use this kind of instant heater. Looks good, looks good. I have to say that. Check it out. This is just uh, storage for, oh, okay. Almost forgot those uh, 
things. Kitchen here. Wow, looks looks nice. It's nice and fresh. Okay, this is kitchen. That's probably a bedroom. And this is not a bedroom. Or not just well. Okay, storage room. Huh. So it's not that big. I actually wanted to build it bigger, but they didn't want to big build it too big, but okay, whatever. I mean we are most of the time we will not be staying over here in Changdao. We will mostly stay in Chiang Mai, so eventually I guess we'll also get a house in Chiang Mai. Also a nice view here. You can see Dai Long from here. Well, it's the neighbor's uh, bushes blocking Dai, but we just see the silhouette. That is beautiful. And man, I had to check out uh, Dolomon. Two years old, 200, no, 25,000 kilometers. We have Ceramic Pro, five layers of Ceramic Pro. It's, it's done in Chiang Mai, so the paint just looks so nice and fresh. And of course, in freaking Thailand, man, they, they just tint everything. Look here. This, is, this would never be legal in Norway or most of Europe. But in Thailand, they just tint it because they want to block out the, the heat and yeah. So looking fresh, looking fresh. Brakes also looking fresh. Yeah, okay. But let's see now. Yeah, by the way, I'll show you guys. The Thai version of M uh, MG set is EV. They have iSmart. Um, you also get it in MG Marvel now. I still have to test MG Marvel, but iSmart is coming to Europe, but not for the ZS EV. Well, maybe not this version. Well, okay. <laughs> Brit Dynamic, yes. Made in Britain, right? <laughs> well, okay, so I guess I'll have to do a garden tour. This is nice and tidy I have. I heard that uh, we have uh, uh, we have coconuts. <laughs> that would be in another, another episode. We have to do another garden tour, I guess. So in order to charge the MG, you have to first lock the car, kind of silly. Yeah, it needs to be locked. And then we have to turn on the fuse, turn the, to the charging station. Uh, I'm not sure, the MG people just told me to do that. Then we have to wait for it to initialize. And we have this RFID. Hello, welcome to use MG charging wall box. Successful authorization. Okay. Charging. Yes. Now we're charging, but I don't remember if you can see any status here, battery status in the screen here. Oh, I forgot. I, I go to the wrong. Shit, I forgot we drive on the wrong side over here. I think you can actually see it on the screen here. You can kind of ninja it. Oh, okay, and this is pair, okay. But no problem because we have the, the iSmart app. You see that we are now at 51% already. And this is probably just some Chinese thing. It likes to show you volts and amp. This is then volts and amp into the battery. So quick math, we are receiving around six kilowatt after charging loss. Okay, so that's good. Uh, well, when, when, will it say when will we finish? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, we are already traveling back to Chiang Mai tomorrow. So we want to have 100% before we start. Finally. You know, we have zero emission vehicles. So that's why we have to offset by burning coal. This is proper mu. Kata, mu means uh, pig. Kata is pan. So this is, this is pig barbecue, the right way, the cold way. We did it in Norway with, um, with electric, but yeah, you see we have lots of vegetable here. We have, uh, well, whatever meat you want to, it's just more like a, a buffet. You have to pick and everything you want here. We have some uh, some sauce here. Yeah, all the goodies. And yeah, it's buffet. And here, I have to show you. Green Fanta. <laughs> I haven't had green Fanta in a long time. It tastes like... Uh... Actually, it doesn't taste like anything in Europe. It does taste... It tastes fruity, maybe similar to Fanta Exotic, but it's just better. Mm. Right, we're back home. Oof, that was great fruit. I'm done, D-O-N. But ooh, this is interesting. I found something here. You see, I left some stuff here in Thailand. This one is actually, oh, it's from Norway. It's uh, 
uh, charge, inductive charger for um, electric toothbrush and also OBD reader or yeah OBD adapter um, this should work but and also you see here you remember the PM 2.5 meter it works now if we are connected but if I unplug the USB it would just stop working and then I have to plug it in again where, where is USB A is always tricky to plug in there so there is a battery here but as long as I unplug then the meter is dead DED so I figured out that the battery in here probably self discharge to the point where it's not working anymore <laughs> uh, not sure how that happened or maybe or oh, it could be that Amory's dad has been using it and then you see discharge it to zero and then maybe left it too long so it got it so the battery is bricked but this one I kept it unused and this one works <laughs> you see this is a prime example that EVs they have a there in the battery there's a bottom buffer that is programmed so so you won't discharge it to absolute zero because this probably was discharged to below zero or using all the bricking protection that EVs usually have and then the battery is DED well anyway I think that's going to be it for today I have tons of interesting stuff to do in Thailand let me just tease you I need to do a degradation test of uh, the MG Doramon uh, supposedly car scanner yes by the way you, you guys been asking me what is that app you've been using uh, when you check the stat, stats, battery status in uh, the cars if it's Tesla it's called Ca scan my Tesla if it's m the other most other cars it's called scar car scanner and yes I have to find out about degradation in MC Hammer in Dormon and then we're going to buy model 3 in Thailand <laughs> What else? I'm going to install solar panels over here at this house. That's going to be cool. Uh, we have to work it out and maybe check out some stuff, more stuff, interesting stuff. Yeah, I want to try to bar borrow Aura, Good Cat, and also MG5. Over here it's called MGEP. And maybe lots of other interesting stuff going on in Thailand. So it will definitely be not boring. Yeah, I think maybe I'll go on a road trip also to Bangkok and stuff. We'll see. So we're missing lots of furniture and stuff, but uh, we'll get it. We'll buy it soon, but right now I have to sleep on this. It is so thin. Well, it, it's not even a mattress. I don't know what the heck this is, a blanket or some shit? <laughs> and I, I don't like laying on hard floor or hard surfaces. I struggle when I sleep in the car. But fortunately, I found this. This is the air mattress I use in the MG. <laughs> yes, I'm saved. Man, that took a while. I think I'm about to hyperventilate, but oh. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.